I want to give you a glimpse of the impact of George's professional journey in ophthalmology. During 16 years at Bascom Palmer, he led clinical research trials and acquired a reputation as both a caring and a skilled physician and as a captivating teacher. His clinical research significantly advanced our treatment of patients with severe diabetic retinopathy. In 1989, he became professor and chair of the Department of Ophthalmology at Penn State University. And in 2001, he served as the elected president of the American Academy of Ophthalmology. George's career can be measured by all the scholarly metrics, over 200 publications, 16 name lectures, and over 300 regional, national, and international presentations. What the numbers don't reveal, however, is George's real impact on his profession. He's mentored over 100 residents and fellows, lectured before thousands, and been a faithful and good friend and colleague to countless of us. We elected him to lead our academy. And throughout the world, there are many people who owe their vision to George Blankenship. George, on behalf of the American Academy of Ophthalmology, we thank you for serving your patients and community and for leading the profession you love with integrity and with humility and humor. You left big footprints, my friend, very big footprints. George, thank you for being such a great friend, a mentor, and there are thousands of patients who are very grateful for what you have done for them. It was always great to be able to visit you and talk to your secretary first. You were also the doctor that was always prepared to start your treatments in the hallway uh, to every patient. I also loved when you would say, patient, your eye is on fire and I'm the fireman. There will be some water damage after the surgery I do. And I always used to love too how the interpreters used to say after you would tell the patient they may lose their eye, the interpreter would say, this is the best doctor in the world. Thank you for all you've done. George, greetings from Miami. Your friends, colleagues, and patients here in Miami send you their very best. As soon as you joined the faculty in 1973, you were a superstar from day one. You were the fastest man with a dictaphone, laser, or in the clinic. You were also the funniest friend ever anywhere and were loved by all. Many stories to tell about your past. George, you were a key person in the building and development of Bascom Palmer. Here you are on the second row on the right behind Buddy Culbertson. Thanks for what you did for Bascom Palmer and growing the faculty. George, we tried on kilts and tasted scotch together in Scotland. I have never laughed harder or more often than the times that I was with you. George, here you are with innovation. You're demonstrating how not to use the laser. You could have replaced Johnny Carson or Jay Leno with your humor. Speaking for your friends, Stanley Chang, Wayne Fung, and me, we salute you, George, and we wish you the very best. You are a legend here at Bascom Palmer, and we send you our love.